Now let's continue with the auditory brain stain responses. Before performing this test, we need to check if our patient is fully relaxed, especially uh, his neck and face muscles. If your patient is a child, it will be better uh, if uh, he or she will sleep during um, the procedure. Uh, and our room must be well um, soundproofed and has a good grounding for this test. Now we can run near audio.net program, press new exam button and insert the patient's data. name, sex and birth date and press OK button if enough. Now we can see a lot of prepared templates for performing different types of tests. Uh, we need to choose the necessary one, for example ABR for two channels template and press OK button. Now we are in the main program window for this test. We are ready to put the electrodes. Before it, we need to prepare the patient's skin properly. Firstly, we need to decrease uh, the point of electrode position, especially if the skin of our patient is oily. We decrease the skin behind both mastoids. Here, we will put the active electrodes and the skin on the forehead, on the high forehead and on the low forehead. Next, we need to use the abrasive paste to peel off the skin. Till the slight redness. All it allows us to reach the good impedance. Now we can put the electrodes. Today we will use hydrocal single use sulfacasive electrodes, but also you can use. Uh, Mm, uh, standard silver chloride or cold cup electrodes. Before applying this type of electrodes, you need to fill the cup with the special conductive and adhesive paste. Uh, this type of electrodes um, we um, will not prepare anyway before applying. So we put the electrodes. on the forehead and behind the mastoids. Now we need to connect our electrodes with our amplifier via special connecting cables with the alligator connector. Firstly, we connect the active electrodes. First active electrode is situated behind the left mastoid. We connect it to the first minus channel of our amplifier. The second active electrode is situated behind the right mastoid. We connect it to the second minus channel of our amplifier. Our reference electrode is situated in the higher forehead near the borderline of hairy part of head. To spread the signal from one reference electrode the two channels on our amplifier, we will use the special combiner.
and the ground electrode is situated near the nose on the low forehead. We connect it uh, to the ground channel on our amplifier. To prevent uh, the higher uh, notch noise, we need to uh, collect our cables together. After positioning the electrodes, we need to check the quality of it by pushing the button of impedance here in the program or on the main front panel of our amplifier. As we can see, our impedance is good enough. We close this window and, can, and now we need to put a stimulator on the head of our patient. In this test, as the stimulator, we will use the headphone stimulator. Also, you can use insert earplugs um, as the stimulator. To connect the stimulator to our amplifier, we use connecting cable. Uh, note that uh, the left is blue and uh, the red is right. Also here, uh, the red is for right ear and the blue is for left ear. Now we can put it on the head. You can regular the size uh, to the size of the head of your patient. Now check the signal quality, pressing the monitoring button. It is good in the green borders, as you can see. Here uh, we can see some parameters of stimulation. All the necessary settings you can see here. Also you can change. You can see stimulation rate, analysis support, hardware settings, filters, sampling rate, stimulus parameters. You can choose from the big list, for example, chop stimulus, turn burst stimulus. Today we will use click stimulus. Now we choose the side of stimulation and start the acquisition. Now you can see the stimulation and averaging process. Also, you can see the gray bands of normal values for uh, latencies of main peaks. Here you can see statistical parameters which allows us to estimate if uh, we get the reliable response. We can stop the acquisition if we have a good response now. And uh, start the second cycle of stimulation to check the reproducibility of responses. Also, we can form the automatically line of stimulation. For example, if we look for treasured, we can add different intensities and they will made automatically. Here we can see curves for contralateral and ipsilateral side. If you want, you can switch off the contra curve. Now you can put necessary markers, the first wave, the third wave and the fifth wave on the curve. Now we get the second response, it is good, higher reproducibly, as you can see. We can manage the second curve, put the markers. If we want, we also can overlay our curves to check the reproducibility. Also, we can um, see the main uh, latencies, amplitudes here in the table and here in the graphics of normal data. Now we get another curve. At the lower intensity, we put the marker of 5 wave. 
and can see a new point here. It is normal latency. Now we are getting the second cycle response. Put the markers again. As you can see, when uh, we decrease the intensity, our latencies of the main peak become longer and the amplitude become smaller. It is normal. Also, we get some other curves. Uh, on the near treasured intensities, when you have any doubt, if you get a response or it is no response, maybe some noise, you can uh, increase the quantity of averaging, pushing here. For example, 4,000 or even 8,000 you can get. Uh, if you have a good response, you can stop. Now we manage the curve, inspect and put markers. Also, uh, in the near treasured intensity, you can uh, perform the test using uh, another type of stimuli, for example, chirp stimuli. It allows more simultaneously reaction of auditory receptors and allows us to get more amplitude wave. Okay, and start stimulation with chirp stimuli. As you can see here, the five wave uh, starts to organize. It is amplitude enough. We can see the process. As you can see, we use uh, uh, um, only 1000 averaging now and we get the 5 wave on this quantity. We can stop and repeat. You can see the good reproducibility. It is a 5 wave, not a noise. We have good statistical parameters of signals and we can stop. Put the markers, overlay, amplitude enough. So we have a patient with normal hearing. Also, you can repeat all the procedure on the left ear.